Good morning students welcome to the geography class today we are going to continue the chapter number 8 land and the people as you have already covered the two topics that is life in desert and the life in temperate grasslands so today we will start the last topic of this chapter that is life in tropical and subtropical forest regions students you should know that tropical region is also known as equatorial region as it receive high amount of sunshine and heavy rainfall whereas the subtropical region receives hot summers it also receive high amounts of sunshine but it receive seasonal rainfalls you can say it receive monsoon season rainy season under these topics we will study the amazon basin and the ganga basin which you know very well amazon is a tropical region and ganga basin is a subtropical region which lies in india students before starting today's topic let's see the learning outcomes students after the completion of the video you would be able to state the reason for the extinction of rainforest in amazon basin students you know it well that equatorial region receive high amount of rainfall and sunshine due to there is a growth of thick and dense forest cover but nowadays this forest is disappearing and we'll come to know about the reasons behind that second explain why ganga brahmaputra region is densely populated students you know it well that ganga brahmaputra region is basically indian subcontinent and why this region is having so much of population we'll come to know the reasons of high growth of population in this area let's start our today's first topic life in tropical forest regions under that we will study the amazon basin amazon basin is the largest river basin in the world it lies in the south america continent this region covers brazil parts of peru ecuador and colombia countries student you have to locate the brazil country on the map under the map skill also so please identify these countries especially brazil it is the world's largest and the thickest tropical evergreen forest or you can say rainforest the amazon is the second longest river in the world after nile river climate of amazon basin students the climate of amazon basin is hot and humid the area receives heavy rainfall throughout the year due to its location in the equatorial region let's see the vegetation cover in amazon basin this area is known for its rainforest the trees here are very tall and thick there are several layers of vegetation the topmost layer of the foliage is known as canopy below this there are two more layers of foliage consisting of shrubs and bushes you can say the top layer of the trees is called canopy and under that we have shrubs and bushes the forest are so dense here that sunlight hardly reaches the ground it is a house for variety of varied species of plants like rubber tree chinchona brazil nut etc about the animal life the amazon basin is rich in wildlife most of the animals are arboreal animals means adopted to living on trees for example apes and lemurs reptiles and amphibians such as snake lizards and frogs are found here 
colorful birds and butterflies are also common here now let's see the crops the most important food crops is cassava or manioc other than this they grow coffee maize cocoa and brazil nut etc student now let's see the reason behind the extinction of rainforest in the amazon basin or you can say the reason for the disappearing of dense rainforest in the amazon basin student you see as the population is also growing in this area the vast forest were cleared and they were setting up the lumbering camps these lumbering camps cut down the trees and cleared the area for the construction of roads maybe for the construction of dams the land is needed for housing and agriculture and people are setting up industries here and they are doing mining over large area that resulted the disappearing or extinction of this rain forest now let's start the second topic subtropical forest region that is the ganga brahmaputra basin student this region is very well known to us as we are living here the ganga is the major river of the indian subcontinent the two big rivers of india ganga and brahmaputra join together in the bangladesh and form the world's largest delta known as ganga brahmaputra delta you can see the location of ganga brahmaputra it is joining in bangladesh country so please identify the location of bangladesh in the map and you will be asked this in the map skill also student it is a part of the northern plain of indian subcontinent it lies to the south of the foothills of shivalik it is a vast low lying plain covering a distance of 2500 kilometers this plain area is drained by big rivers of india that is indus the ganga and the brahmaputra these rivers carry huge amount of sediments with them and make this area very much fertile the soil of this area is very fertile and good for cultivation climate in ganga brahmaputra basin is hot and humid the area receives rainfall it receive heavy rainfall during the 3 months of the monsoon that is june july and august the average rainfall is about 200 cm vegetation in ganga brahmaputra basin is covered with tropical deciduous forest we see the deciduous forest grow in the area of hot and humid region so the climate of ganga brahmaputra is also hot and humid so this is suitable climate for this forest but nowadays the area has been completely converted into farms and settlements you can say the people are doing agriculture and they are making numerous major cities here and which are the reason for the decline of deciduous forest the lowest part of the ganga delta is covered with the mangrove forest these forest are dominated by a plant locally named as sundri that is why the area is named as sundarbans animals commonly found in ganga brahmaputra basin are one horn rhinoceros and bengal tigers the most important wildlife sanctuary is the sundarban wildlife sanctuary and it is the home for various wild animals due to the good agricultural production over this area many agro based industries like textiles and sugar etc are commonly found in this region at last you can say this area is developing at a very fast rate you can say many cities and towns like haridwar allahabad varanasi patna guwahati are located on the banks or maybe near the ganga or brahmaputra river because 
it has a good soil that is suitable for cultivating various crops the climate is very much suitable hot and humid so that is why the most of the area is highly populated or you can say thickly populated students with the end of this topic we have covered our chapter land and the people now it's time for home assignment students on the political outline map of the world locate the following countries bangladesh brazil united states of america south africa algeria do send your map work for checking to your geography teacher along with that you will be solving a google form given in this pdf file and read the chapter carefully till then take care stay safe at home happy learning